Now there have been no constitutional agreement between East Timor and Australia on this issue. Uh, the President and I had a very constructive discussion. Uh, we both uh, agree uh, on some key principles, as I've said. Those key principles would be that it would be based on UNHCR principles, uh, that the UNHCR would be integrally involved in running the centre. Uh, the President uh, and I also um, thought it would be uh, beneficial if the centre were open uh, within the Timor Estate. But these are details. There are details underlining those principles, uh, which Secretary Metcalf and Ambassador Larson uh, will be discussing over the coming weeks uh, with the very senior officials that are appointed by the, the Timor State Government. Uh, that meeting, the first meeting, will occur in a month's time, um, and there'll be ongoing meetings that will occur in uh, Dili. Uh, and uh, it's been uh, agreed that that uh, working group will report back to both governments by the very early part of next year uh, with that detailed framework work done. Australia would be happy to fund a temporary facility? No, well, uh, the President might want to um, uh, deal with the matter of temporary, but we have discussed um, uh, the issue of temporary. And what the focus on is in relation to temporary is ensuring that people, individuals in the centre, are not held for years and years and years. Uh, the President might want to further clarify uh, what he means by the word temporary. How long such a centre will remain on? our uh, soil indefinitely or there will be a time limit that is to be discussed uh, obviously if we were to agree on establishing such uh, expensive costly infrastructure here we would need to agree on how long it is prepared to host that facility as such second uh, that I refer to in terms of temporary is every person landing in Timor and uh, uh, admitted to the center will be temporary. In the sense, A, some of the basic conditions uh, that have to be, uh, that these are mostly administrative methods, and that is how long an individual would have a to be in a limbo before his or her uh, status is uh, established. Is he or she a bona fide refugee or a criminal uh, fleeing justice in his or her country? Uh, or someone involved with extremist elements? So this has to be uh, clarified within a short period of time, the moment the person enters. So that the person itself uh, feels uh, his or her right and dignity uh, uh, respected. Second, having done that in a short period of time, to be agreed by the parties that is reasonable, uh, then how long that person who has been found to be a bona fide refugee will have to wait in Timor, in the center, before going on to the final destination, whether Australia, whether New Zealand, whether Japan, or whatever. How long? Making a discussion about our proposal for a regional framework and for a regional assessment centre. Uh, the President and I agreed uh, on some very important key underlying principles. Uh, that is that such a centre would need to be uh, run in line with UNHCR principles and that the UNHCR would need to be very closely involved in the centre uh, together with the uh, IOM. Uh, that is something that we both feel very strongly. We also discussed the potential benefits for Timor Leste of such a proposal. The benefits in terms of economic development, capacity building, uh, and in terms of regional engagement. And that is something we were both very clear on, uh, that such a proposal would need to be very clearly uh, to the benefit of the people of Timor Leste. Uh, the President and I also agreed that it's very important that this be a regional solution 
uh, that we bring our regional partners with us. Uh, we've also uh, made both the points that such a framework would need to be uh, very closely uh, involved with Indonesia and our other regional partners. Accordingly, uh, the President has uh, kindly uh, agreed uh, that a high-level uh, working group uh, to develop this proposal further, which will be led from Australia's point of view uh, by Secretary uh, Metcalf and Ambassador Larson, uh, will progress this proposal uh, further for further consideration by the respective governments uh, by early next year. What do you see as some of the potential benefits to your country? We don't look at it from a potential benefit. I have no idea uh, whether this will have any potential uh, benefit. I look at it uh, first as a humanitarian issue, as the Mughals to be a responsible member of the region. That's, been, uh, that's what a state is all about. That's what a government is all about. We want to be part of ASEAN. We have a bilateral relationship with Australia. We are part of the United Nations. There is a growing problem in the region. Let's see how we can uh, deal with it. And uh, I have not, for one moment, to think about what are the benefits. Well, maybe potential benefit is these are human beings coming from different countries with tremendous values, culture. Everybody will come here because they will know Okay, we just have to be there for a few months and then we go on to Australia. So, uh, it has, the message has to be sent very clear that there will be very strict conditions, you know, uh, for us, for Indonesia, for any country, for Australia, before anyone is accepted into, uh, into uh, the center. Oh. Cool. 